Hello and welcome to this video. This video will be on uh, how to remote log in to your Ubuntu 16.04. So let's begin. Um, to start with, in order to log in remotely to your uh, Ubuntu server, you don't have to be logged into the Ubuntu server, but it does need to be turned on. Okay. So first, let's start off by uh, stating what SS, uh, how we're going to log into the server remotely, and we're going to do that through the SSH uh, command, and we're going to do it from a terminal, from another machine. Okay. So this right here, as you see, is my. Uh, Ubuntu 16.04 server. I haven't logged in. Actually, I logged out of it, but it is up and running. So we're just going to minimize that. And we're going to open up this terminal, which is on my uh, Mint 18 machine. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and log into that. So to begin with, we're going to use the uh, SSH command, and SSH stands for Secure Shell. Now, some people may say, well, why don't we just log in through Telnetting? Well, you can log in through Telnet remotely to your server. Um, I prefer SSH because in layman's terms, when you log in through SSH, uh, anybody that might be looking um, they're not going to be able to decipher what your password or how you logged in because it's encrypted. It goes through an encryption tunnel when you use SSH. So that's why I encourage everybody when they're going to log in remotely, they use some type of secure application to log in remotely to their server. So let's go ahead and begin. Our command that we're going to use, as we stated, is going to be through SSH. So, we're just going to run this command. It's going to be SSH space, and then you want to type in the username of the remote machine you want to log into. Uh, and for me, that's going to be MS, MXWIL, and then you put in the at sign, and then the machine's IP address, which for us is going to be 192.168.1.11. Okay, and then you press enter on your keyboard. All right. And then just follow the uh, instructions there. Are you sure you want to continue? You want to type in yes and then press enter. Then it'll ask you for the password for the user of the uh, server that you're logging in on. So you just put in the password. Press enter. And as you can see, we've logged in remotely to our Ubuntu server. All right. Now, in order for this to happen, you have to download and install the package Open SS, uh, OpenSSH-Server. You should, you should uh, install that at least on your server um, uh, that you're logging in on. On the, on the uh, machine that you're logging from, you can just type in uh, open SSH client. You don't have to type in server and client. Um, but I would recommend that you do it at least on uh, the uh, server, the actual server. You put the uh, open SSH server package in that one. You can put it in both or um, either or. It doesn't matter. So we are, we are logged in on our server. And you can tell that by let's do host name, host name, CTL, and then you press enter. And as you can see, this is our Ubuntu 16.04. All right, and then we have the kernel and everything. All right, so that's how you SSH into your uh, server remotely. And then once you're logged in, you can do everything the way you normally would, even if. Uh, as if you were uh, logged in directly to the machine. Uh, you can install packages, sudo apt get install, minus y for answer y to the questions, and I do, I think I need to install them. So let's go ahead and install them, and put in our password.
Okay, knit them is already installed. Okay, so that's great. And do the LS, and as you can see, we are already, um, we can do everything the way we normally do. Uh, let's type in the command who am I and press enter. Okay, I'm logged in as MXWIL. After working, we're under that command. We're under the home um, directory for MXWIL. And, you know, like I said, we could just go ahead and uh, go through our routine with our, our server as if we were logged in directly. Using SSH, like I said, is a good way of uh, logging in uh, securely remotely to your machine and it's the best way of doing it until they come up with a new uh, secure way of uh, logging in remotely and there are probably several ways but I like SSH okay so that was it for this video it was a real short one thank you very much in our next video we'll go over how to use uh, a, uh, the GUI secure way of logging in through SSH. So thank you very much. Thank you very much for looking at this video. Please like and subscribe, and you have a good day.